lessons on the internet. I don't know if any of you signed up for those. Uh, awesome. So, um, I had come up with my own curriculum and I, I, I decided that um, maybe a good thing to do would be to write songs from newspaper stories. So it's called the Headline Series and my students were asked to choose their own headline, local headline from wherever they were all over the world and um, bring them to the group. They could talk amongst themselves, I'd go make a sandwich, they decide which one was a songable headline. Like which one of the songs, maybe, or which one of the, 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 uh, the newspaper pieces would be the most songable. And in this way I thought, well, this is gonna be really good for them to talk about why something is a song or isn't a song. Then they would bring it in, decide on their one, and I would write a song, take me about two to six hours on average, they'd write songs, and then we'd you know, show them the next day and talk about it. Uh, this is an example, it was a piece uh, from the um, Washington Post, and it was, about, um, it was about a couple that came home one night to their apartment to find a bunch of stuff was broken in their house. And uh, that's weird, and then they ran into he who broke the stuff in the hallway in the middle of the night, and he broke down crying. Then he gave them $200 for the stuff that he had broken and for the shrimp that he ate from there. <laughs> and um, then he left. So, how many of us can relate to that story? <laughs> but there's always a story beneath the story. And to me, the story is the character himself. If anyone has ever been uh, in an abusive friendship, an abusive relationship, or somehow attached to a bully, you'll recognize exactly the things that he did.